morning. It's Frances Cox from John Ray Realty. We appreciate your viewing this, and I want to introduce you to Nell Calloway, who is the director of the Chenault Aviation Military Museum. And we're standing in front of my uncle's room. He was a prisoner of war during World War II, and his name is E.D. Beauchamp. Now, do you just have exhibits from World War II here at the Chenault? No, we, we encompass all the wars from World War I through Iraqi freedom, and we're working on getting Afghan, Afghanistan exhibits right now. Um, but we really, the thing that we always tell people is that we have so much to be proud of being from this area. The building that we're in is one of the last remaining buildings of the largest navigation school during World War II. We graduate over 15,000 navigators from this area. And then we also were the home of Delta Airlines, which we're real proud of. We have a lot of Delta people who enjoy coming and looking at the exhibits about well, Delta. Wasn't Delta a crop dusting? It was uh, Huff Dale and Dusters. Is that what it was? And they decided to start doing passenger travel because you could only dust the crops a few months out of the year. And so they started doing passenger travel between Atlanta and Dallas. And so that's how they got started. And we have the story back there in the Delta room. Tell me about your library. I find that interesting. We have probably the largest collection of books about China, Burma, India, and Chennault in the United States. Wright Patterson wanted this collection. We were able to get it. Yeah. We also have many, many books that are out of publication now on other subjects. You can find every subject pertaining to war, metals, history that you want to in there. And they're not in publication anymore. And a lot of them are signed by the authors. Can we just, if we wanted to do some research, we could just make an appointment and come in and go through the library? You don't even have to make an appointment. We will welcome you during our hours from 9 to 4, anytime you oh, want to come. You. We have comfortable chairs. We have a microwave, refrigerator <laughs> in there. You can bring your lunch. <laughs> also, tell me about General Patton's boots. I thought that was interesting. General Patton's grandson visited us last month, and he left with us the pair of boots that General Patton, Patton was wearing when he had his fatal car crash on December 9th of 1945. And we will have those for about three more months, and um, then he'll probably pick them back up. Tell me, uh, in case someone doesn't know who General Chenault is, would you just sort of give him a... Okay. Okay. General Chennault went to China in 1937 at the invitation of Chiang Kai-shek to view the Chinese Air Corps. Uh, a lot of people don't realize between 1931 and 1945, the Japanese killed between 25 and 50 million Chinese people. So what they were doing to the Chinese was, I don't think people realized. And when Chennault got over there, the war started shortly after, and he volunteered to Chiang Kai-shek to stay and help in his efforts, and within a year, he was actually put in charge of the Chinese Air Corps. And then in 1941, uh, he was able to talk President Roosevelt into allowing some of the men from the Army, the Navy, and the Marine Corps to resign their positions and to be hired by the Chinese government. And these became known as the Flying Tigers. That's right, yeah. And these men set records that have never been broken. They actually shot down 299 Japanese airplanes, confirmed, about that many unconfirmed, and only lost 12 of their own in actual combat, which is, uh, is a record that's never been broken to this day. And of course, Chenault came home to Monroe when he came back from the war in, when it ended in 1945. And we have a robe that was worn by the last emperor of China, Puyi. Oh, I bet the ladies will like that. Oh, they'll love that. And we have an original painting from China uh, about the hump pilots that we think is a beautiful painting. It's almost a three-dimensional look to it. We're very proud of that. We have Chenault's very first wings that he got on April 9th, 1919. We have a lot of very unique artifacts that you won't see anyplace else. And yeah, I bet you have people coming in always bringing you new things for the exhibit. We change out, we try to change our exhibits out every few months, some mm -hmm. of them, and replace them with the new things that come in. And we do have a room that's dedicated to changing exhibits. So every three months, you'll see something different in this room. Very interesting. Thank you, Neil. Mm -hmm.